I give him some like some millions of dollars. He's trying to make a change. Mm-hmm. I agree with it, but I understand why it's hard to then add, like add Colin Kaepernick to a roster right now. Mm-hmm. There are people who want to make a protest not about what it was. They want to make it about you don't care about America. It's mm-hmm. like no, because he cares about America, because mm-hmm. he cares about all Americans. Mm-hmm. That's why he takes a stand. Well, that was my original take on the protest because I was, when I was looking at the protest, I'm like, this is this is a, a big problem in the community, mm-hmm. but also, I'm like, this is a very one sided problem in the community. Yes, cops are killing, are killing black people, but also black people are killing black people. Right, a big thing. Sure. Especially we even. Because not only America is a big problem, but also even in Toronto, we see it all the time. These young black kids killing each other. And that for me was the main thing. I'm like, yo, this, the black people killing each other is the first thing we need to, we need to address first before we address the wider issue, which is the disparity. The systemic. And, yeah. yeah. So this is because I'm like, before, I think, who was it? I'm pretty sure it was Denzel Washington that said that these kids, before they even get to the system, they're already doing these actions that yeah, are nefarious. They're, they're already so, locked in, right? Exactly. So it's like, yes, we can blame the system as much as we can, but if the kids that reach, before they reach the system, they're already committing these type of activities, that's a big problem. But afterwards, when I started seeing Colin Kaepernick do his, the pledge, the $100,000 pledge, and pledging also $1 million mm-hmm. of his salary to different donations, I'm like, and he was, not only is these, he's donating, but he's donating specifically to organizations to and, help directly, and these oppressed yes. kids. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, that was one of the things that I'm like, okay, not only is he addressing, let's say, one side of the problem that I think should be addressed, but on the same time, he's also putting his money in those communities. For sure. There's an element to, like, you know, you're a product of your environment, 100%, mm-hmm. right? But there's also an element to you determine who you are, mm-hmm. right? Don't let your environment choose who you are, right? Because mm-hmm. how, many, how many people that look like us with our skin color would be in Canada if our parents or grandparents or whoever said, no, we're not moving on. We're not looking for better opportunities, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, there is an opportunity. Like, you you come here. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to make it like, you come here, you <laughs> do this. No, 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 no. Of course not. But it's, no. if the, you are in Canada, the world is your oyster. And that, mm-hmm. you're in the U.S., the world is your oyster. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there is a systemic problem. Mm-hmm. So, Colin Kaepernick's thing, and I think where I agree with his his um his um his whole movement mm-hmm. was he made a he made he made an earthquake mm-hmm. of the movement man mm-hmm. like you could not tune into the news and not hear about the movement mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but what i think happened and and this is what opposition will do all the time is they no longer make it about what you're talking about they make it on how you're talking about it mm-hmm. and that's all they want to talk about and I'm a big, I'm a, I get it. Like, you have to say things properly. He didn't mm-hmm. do anything, mm-hmm. but that's my thing, is that he didn't do anything that was inappropriate. Mm-hmm. He didn't do anything that violated, right? He did actually his fundamental American right, and then mm-hmm. that is to protest peacefully. Mm-hmm. Whether an owner talks to you and says, hey, you're, you're affecting my bottom line now. Mm-hmm. You're an employee of this company. You can protest, but please mm-hmm. don't affect my bottom line. That's a different conversation to be had. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But his protest was heard and heard globally. Mm-hmm. And that is, first of all, a success. Mm-hmm. But I think what opposition does, and that just speaks to opposition in general, is that they try to make a protest about something. Else. They try to make whatever it is you're protesting about mm-hmm. something else. Mm-hmm. It's like, see, you're out of line. Mm-hmm. Well, we don't want to hear. It's like, so what? Now, because somebody is pro- sitting kneeling during an anthem, you're now saying mm-hmm. that black kids deserve to be shot by police for mm-hmm. wearing a hoodie? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you, or someone needs to be dragged out with a broken back and later, like, beat up by an officer. Like, mm-hmm. is that what you're saying is acceptable because you didn't like the fact that someone knelt during the anthem? And no. He, and even the, the idea that because you're, you're kneeling during the flag is that you're disrespecting the veterans. It's like, I, I'm, if you really do your research and you, and you look at how he transitioned from sitting to kneeling that is very important that's that for some people it might be small but it's that's very important because you he consciously decided and thought about it after talking with a a vet he's like you know what i'm that is not the message i'm trying to send to our veterans exactly Mm -hmm. that is not what i'm trying to send at all
Thank you.